they vote for me. If you say make I vote with my choice, I go say make I vote. I go say make I vote P2B. But if you say make I vote the way money is now, the way this country is now, you know say people need money. <laughs> I go say make I vote the Jagaban. He say you know me I want change. I don't want change for more money. Oh what a what? I go wash you. Come on, tell you with the choice. Pito Obi. With the money. With the Jagaban now. But they carry one container of money. They can't do proper religious. Full one now now. What? Of course I have it. Who you vote for? Obi Obi then. I take. Who you vote for? I will vote for Tinibu. The man knows this thing. So that is the reason why you won't vote? Yeah. You won't sell your vote? The one I said I will be selling before and I will still sell and no mean. <laughs> we don't they say through the time of our passenger team now. So I mean if I say this one I don't get regret. That's a noble you use. My brother I don't just I will vote because I get my PVC. But I will use my PVC for my bank. Any my transaction only my PVC. Now what I use my PVC for? You know the vote. You know even if it will be win, they may not give it to him because I think they claim that they were born to rule. Uh, I get uh, my wife and my own, all of them is ready for B. You are voting for OB. I'm a caliber man, I say I vote for BBC. Of course, my own is woman now. I have my own now. My own is woman now. It's woman. Ah, yeah. Peter B is okay now. Where am I? He's a young man. Peter will be that is going to win the South, South, South East and have part of the North Hammers. Do you, you get your PVC? Yes. So, who you vote for? I'm voting for Peter Obi. Do you have your PVC? Of course I do. So, who you vote for? Well, I'm voting for the Peter Obi. All right, thank you. Peter Obi everywhere. Get followers. Peter Obi everywhere. Peter Obi everywhere. I like your confidence. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you vote for Peter? My dear, we do be dead family now. We dead now. I will vote for who my spirit direct. You get your PVC? Yes, I do have. I do have. I voted for. Ah, Obi as a visionary leader. What's it be Peter Obi party? <laughs> it's a Labour party. All right, thank you. You get your PVC? Yeah, I have my PVC. You are voting for obedient all the way. No, you get your PVC? I've registered, but I've not collected. If you collect, who you vote? Obi. You will not be ignorance of who Obi is. All right, sir. Do you have your PVC? Of course. So why are you voting? I have made my point clear. I am for the obedient movement. Thank you, sir. Peter B still remains our brother, and we so love. Why are you not voting? I'll vote for him, but things. Even the north, we are talking about them. Them too, no Peter. Talking about the grassroots level. Yes, everybody know. Even our mama, our papa, where they for village, eh? They know that the Peter B is the right man. So, brother, now which advice would you give? Uh, those people that are giving all PVC, are they ready to deliver our PVC right now? So you have not collected. Your I've collected my own. Then what about my brothers and sisters now who have won't have their own PVC? So let us try another party now and see whether that party can tell us as well. Sir, do you have your PVC? Why? I'm by PVC. So you are voting for? I'm voting for Peter. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Peter will be, yes, in the only come out now. But we'll not say we'll go put them for next coming if they are alive. For next coming, but for now, we no say we will give us more but but not be safe let it like that. All right, thank you. Presidential candidate, you feel right now is the best for Nigeria. With uh, the statistic taken some few days ago, or a few months ago, a few weeks ago, I think the APC candidate, who is popularly known as Jagaban, was scoring about 17 percent of the youth across the federation. This statistic was taken in the 36 state of the federation. Why Atiku was having about 25%, then Obi was having about 51%. Uh, in this contest, I believe the masses have making their interest, have indicated interest in the person of the Labour Party because of his past record. You know, legacy speaks volume in whatever thing you are doing. The record he kept in the past has attracted people to join him. Regardless of the fact that Labour Party is a minor party, but because of the person involved, it has bring the party to a limelight, making people from far and near to be attracted. Personally, I am joining the obedient movement. So let's talk about, you know, talking, talking about the grassroots movement in the north. Some northerners have said that they don't know Peter being in the north, just like Kwan uh, Kwasa is not well known in the south, south and the south east. So what's your thought on that? You know... 
before somebody will be known, something must be attracted for you to be known. Popularity did not start in a day. If the Northerners assume that they don't know P2B, what they're supposed to be, they're supposed to be attentive to the media. Go through the media, read the past record, know what has been happening in the past. Anybody who says that he doesn't know him, maybe he is not conversant with the media. We in the South, we know me as a person. I know Kwan Kwaso as the former governor of uh, Kanu State, who has equally served as a minister under the uh, regime of Abbasanjo. So for him to come, Kwan Kwaso is not a new person in the Nigerian politics. In that context, Ubi as a person will not be considered as a, a new person in the Nigerian politics. So those who are claiming that they don't know him, they are just trying to convince the masses that they are not conversant with the Nigerian media. If you are conversant with the Nigerian media, you will not be ignorant of who Obi is. All right, sir. Do you have your PVC? Of course. So why are you voting? I have made my point clear. I am for the obedient movement. Thank you, sir. God bless God. this country. I'm going to deliver this country. I to be good deliver. Uh, yes, I believe so. I'm going to deliver. Get your PVC. For that's card is there now. my wallet here. So they vote for? Na Peter B na. So may I ask you, do you think say Peter B feel win Northern State? Yes, so I'm going to win some state for Northern State. Do you know Kwan Kaso? Forget that one. With the tell you about Peter B, Peter B go win some state. I, 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 do you I know, know him? Yes, I know, I know Kwan Kaso. No, do you know Sean Ray? I forget those ones, them. those ones, them. No. So now only Kwan Kaso state, you think say Kwan Kaso game? Yes. So some people going to say the way we don't know they know Kwan Kaso. For for here for south south and south east now so them to know no Peter B. What do you think about that? No, Peter B there everywhere for social media. Peter B there everywhere. Get followers. Peter B there everywhere. Peter B there everywhere. I like your confidence. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you vote for Peter. Nadia would be dead family now. But I don't know him. I'm sure you know the rest of the presidential candidates. So some people say the way way as you know no Kwan Kwaso na na so them to know no Peter B for the north. So do you think that one now? Uh, it will not affect Peter B's chances of winning this upcoming election. Uh, the only thing I know is that there is nobody who doesn't know Peter B. Even when they've not seen about Peter B. I'm talking about the grassroots level, like if you go to some localities in the north, so like it might be in the central, like the, the capital city, you know, it might you know have some ground there. But talking about the localities, the main, some local governments in the northern states, some people say they don't know him, they don't even know the Labour Party. So now, if do you think it's not a uh, Peter B stand a chance of winning upcoming election when he's not winning the grassroots level? Uh, the only thing is that most of them in the north that says they don't know Peter Obi, that is why they created an avenue for campaign. So as to allow the presidential aspirants to go throughout the states and do their campaign. And when they go for campaign, people will know them. Even about the Kwan Kwaso you are talking of, people in the east we don't know him, that it is when he comes for campaign that we will know him. Then when Peter B goes, then, then they will know him also. Because he's from the eastern side, it is not everybody that know who is who. So when the time comes, they will know whom Peter B is, and we from the east here will know Kwan Kwaso. So, uh, do you think uh, Peter B, uh, you know, stand a chance of at least winning some northern, uh, good numbers of northern, northern states in come this 2020 election? Well, man, looking at it, you will know he has, he will win because even when he has not gone for campaign, people have started talking about him. Even the Northerners, they talk about him. Because this time, it is not party we are talking out about. We are talking about individuals. We are talking about people that will move the country forward. That is what we are talking about. Even as so the Northerner is ruling now, the Northerners are also, everybody is suffering. Let me use y uh, Yeradua as an example. Yeradua was a Northerner, and we, the Easterners, we did not complain about him because he was doing very well. We want a president, somebody who will go there that will take everybody along, carry everybody along. That is what we want. You think he is the best presidential candidate? I cannot answer. That question is bigger than me. So let me give you some name. Kwan Kwaso, do you know Kwan Kwaso? <laughs> I know him. Do you know Sean Ori? I know him. You know Peter Obi Atiku Tinobu, so if you are to... You get your PVC? I have my PVC. So now if I ask you, are you the vote? I will vote for Tinobu. Come, 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 come. Why are you going to vote for Tinobu? <laughs> we, we know this one now. The man, the man knows this thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know the me. man knows this thing. So that is the reason why you want to vote? Yeah. You want to say your vote? <laughs>
The way I say we've been selling before and we still sell and no mean. <laughs> we don't they say through time of our passenger team now. So I mean if I say this one, I don't get regret. <laughs> so nobody you use have to vote for. If you say make I vote with my choice. I go say make I vote I go say make I vote Pitobi. But if you say make I vote the way money is now, nah, the way this country is now, nah, you know say people need money. <laughs> I go say make a vote in Jagaban. He say, you know, me I want change. I don't want change for more money. What am I? I go wash you. Come on, tell me. With the choice, Peter Obi. With the money, with the Jagaban, na. Because they carry one container of money. They can't do proper religious. Full one man, na. Oh, one house, one container, one house, one container. One house, one container. If Jagaban go there, na. This room. One container of money. Each room, one container of money. I go vote for a move. I mean, I'm. Come, come, come. 2023 election now. Uh, who you feel? Uh, who, who you they vote for? You know, say, for this country, we don't share money. We don't tie here. Yeah? We don't share money. Even if I get a sense, you get to start with a share giver. So now we need stingy man. Even though they don't give a move. Your friend just said he need person we go give her money. We ain't go, we ain't go in. They share money. So tell even rat they collect, snake they collect, everybody they collect now. Nah. We need stingy people. So who is that person where you say is the right man for? The number one stingy man of the world now. Who be that person? You don't know. <laughs> you have to be obedient. That's how you go know. Now people be now. So now the person we want. We don't say they don't give him more. We know. Koro koro. Even they saying we. Even they give my mama say say me talk say na him. My mama they come money where they give my mama money go talk ah. No problem. Now me ask you now. You know say people be now. Let's say that Peter be most south south and the southeast of this country. Everybody, you know, he has a lot of uh, followers here in the south south and the southeast. So now, let me ask you: Do you know Kwan Kwaso? Mm, yeah, I know Kwan Kwaso. You know Sao Sao Re, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you are familiar with Tinubu and Atiku. Some people say, you know, as Kwan Kwaso no get grant for this south south and southeast now, so Peter be also no get for the north. So you think that Peter B will still feel win this election? On paper. Based on credentials, eh? Peter be qualified in everything. But my brother, on populace, na zero. You know if you win. Even though say na my uncle, even though my papa, you know if you win. As far as say na Nigeria, inside this country, where we did. A good man can never win a president of this country. Bros, you get your PVC. Wait with that. PVC, PVC. Wait with the card and do. For me, for the betterment of of our you know children, I will tell you, Peter B is the best person. Is the best candidate. Why you say Peter B is the best? Looking at Tinobu, looking at Tiku, looking at Shanre, looking at Kwan Kwaso. Why you feel say Peter B stand differently, stand to among those, to among these men? You know, from the past now, when he was governor of Anambra State, you know, at least you don't even need to ask the black, as in, you can just go to Anambra State and confirm. You know, as in, when he was the governor, as in, he did fine. People say he's stingy, you know, they give shishi. What do you think? I uh, brother, leave the stinginess, leave the stinginess of a thing. The most important thing, let him deliver good governance. And, you know, some people still criticize because there's no how you day where people not go talk about you. Saying leave money like a billion dollars and you know, current for the account of the state when it was leaving. Some people say you know supposed to leave that money. Say that money is supposed the money where you supposed to use better the life of the Anambreras. You can't keep on for who? What do you think about that talk? <laughs> it shows that um, uh, for him to leave such amount of money, it shows that you know. Is a is a man that has a clear conscience. He's very sincere, and 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 if you should also give him a try, as in let me say in Fedra, you know you would do better. Bro, you get your PVC. Yes, I do have. I do have. I voted for. Ah, Obi as a visionary leader. What's it be Peter Obi part? He's <laughs> a Labour. Obi stand chance of winning, you know, the most northern state because like, do you know Kwan Kwaso? Uh, I don't know that one, but I know that Obi will win. I'm a man of God. And Prophet King Jones. I say, be take first. Some people say the way, eh, say, you know, Kwan Kwaso is one of the presidential, where they aspire for this presidential, is a presidential candidate for 2020 election. Some people say the way, way we know, they know Kwan Kwaso for the South South, that's how the Northerners too know no Peter B at the grassroots level. So don't you think that, uh, do you think Peter B still, you know, stand a chance of winning most Northerners states? Uh, power of God. I'm a man of God. I say Obi 100 of 100. And nobody can defeat Obi, the whole Nigeria. Obi will bring up. I'm a reverse man. I say Obi take 100 of 100. I'm okay. Man of God, sir, do you have your PVC? 
Uh, I get uh, my wife and my own. All of them is ready for B. You are voting for O B. I make a lot of I say I vote for B. Thank you, Dede. God bless you, sir. It is good. Uh, good day, okay. So who you think say be the good person come for this 2023 election? For Obi dance now. Nah. Obi. Why you choose Peter? Ah ah. Man, where get sense? Young man, you to go for that matter. No be old man. Now you to so is Abi making go there. In go school where? Making go there. Do you know one person? Ah, who be one person? I know no more. So, Juan Kazo is one of the presidential aspirants for 2020 election. So some people say the way on no no Juan Kazo for this South South and so they don't know Pito B. So you think the Pito B feel when the Northern State? You see everything about Pito B is by God's grace. Because when you win Anambra State uh, uh, governorship that time, he said it's by God's grace that he will. So I believe in him that by God's grace, he's a man that knows God. So by God's grace, he will still go there. You get your PVC? Of course I have it. Who you they vote for? Obi, Obi then. All right, thank you. Like the person of Pito B stand the chance of winning Northern State because some people said some Northerners do not know Pito B. Uh, do you get him? So uh, because you know uh, the same way Pan Kwasong is not known here in the South South. That's how Pito B is not known in the Northern. Uh, state in part of the country. So do you think uh, Pito B stands the chance of winning this upcoming election? Well, uh, Pito B has the chances of winning the election based on his uh, uh, laudable achievement when he was the governor of uh, Anambra State. Yeah. So without minding whether it's known in the north or not, what we want is a very good change. We want a dynamic leader, a very strong leader that can change this country mm -hmm. better for the I mean for the betterment of all. That's what the country needs as of now, without minding where you come from or your state of origin. But no. someone that can deliver. Okay. So looking at the structure, you know, a lot of the grassroots, like when you go to some local governments in the north, just like you know, Pito B is well known in the south or uh, in the eastern part of the country. So some people say in the grassroots, like the some local local areas of uh, the northern part, they don't know Pito B. So is that not a, a, a challenge? For uh, for Peter B this time around. No, it's not. It's not all that. Thing. That that one will not pose a threat because uh, to me, I think uh, if they start grassroots uh, mobilization, you know, they start grassroots mobilization, they, they create awareness for the people. Mm -hmm. They will. Uh, nothing will make Peter B not to gain ground. That's the way I look at it. Right. So, who is your favorite presidential candidate, sir? Based on the, the economic situation now, we need change. We need somebody that can come and change. They've done everything around. So my favorite candidate is uh, Pito, that Labour Party. Let us try that party. Okay. APC has failed us. GDP has also failed us. So let us try another party now and see whether that party can fail us. Sir, so do you have your PVC? Why? That party. So you are voting for? I'm voting for Pito. All right. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Do you know Kwan Kwa so, sir? I don't know. So let me tell you Kwan Kwa so. is. Kwan Kwa so is one of the presidential aspirants, like a candidate in the north, the former governor, I think Kano State. So he's, he's aspiring from the, the position of the presidential uh, elect, uh, for this presidency 2023. So some people, some people say, you know, Pito B, you know, has a lot of followers in the south, in the west, and in the south, south, southeast. So some people say that the way Pito B is now known in the south, in the northern part of the country, that's how, uh, that's how, uh, uh, sorry, let me put the question straight. The way Pito B is, uh, the way Kwan Kwasa is not well known in the south, south, and southeast, that's how Pito B is not known in the northern part of the country. So now the question is, do you think now with this, uh, you know, uh, pool, do you think Pito B stand a chance of winning this presidential election come 2023 in the northern states? Yes, for me, for my understanding, the man is a natural, and I believe he can make this country to be good. No matter, it's not by where you're from or where you're never. But that man will be good. I don't even think that anybody will come and confront that man. That man is very good. He, he wants to rule this country. No, so let's talk about the structure and the grassroots level, like yeah. in the localities and the local governments. You know, a lot of people, Labour Party is not well known. So 
I, don't you think that one pose like a challenge for the Labour Party or the person of Peter will be winning this upcoming election? Because a lot of people have said it's just a social media thing. What do you think about that one? For me, what I think, as far as he's a good man, he can arrange well. Once he has the federal, he's not by local or not. But I know the man can do well, whatever. Okay. And whatever. All right. He can do well. That's my own belief. All right. Yes. So, do you get, you get a PVC? Yeah, 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 my So who you they vote for? It's Pito Vina. <laughs> no because a lot of people south south or south is no no kwakwaso. So now so too they don't know Pito B for the Northern State. So now I want to ask you, do you think Pito B stand a chance of winning good numbers of Northern States coming this uh, election? Okay, let me start from you. Not that I'm referring the question back to you. If if they ask you to vote Tinibu or Atiku or Kwankwaso. Or Peter B, who, who are you going to vote? I remain neutral now because of the okay. future. You don't want to politicize on it. You remain neutral. Anyway, um, for me, I prefer Peter B. Even if Peter B win, they may not give it to him because I think they claim that they were born to rule. They were born to rule, and Nigeria is their country. You can see, but. We here, we are going to vote for him. Even some outsiders will vote for him. Everybody will vote for Peter B. Peter B is making the wave. But are they ready to give it to him? Are they ready to? Uh, uh, your vote will count. My vote will count. Sure, you will by God. Count. Who told you that? How do you know? How do you know? Lawless country. A country anywhere anybody can do anything. It can do anything and go free. Let's just pray that things will be different this time around. So. Coming this election now, who are you voting for? Or who are you rooting for? Vote does not count, so I cannot waste my precious time to vote. But you have a PVC? I have a PVC. Of course, I have a PVC. So, but who are you using it for? Anyway, my support will go for P2B. P2B has fear of God. He's a young man that has mentality. He's a vibrant young man, not working cops president. Uh -huh. So what do you think of Atiku, Tinubu, the rest? Atiku is for his own selfish interest. Atiku will sell this country overnight. Convert all the government prasitata into his own private decision. Why Tinubu will put Togate, even the whole street? The whole street will be Togate, Togate. Tinubu, Jagaband. I, I think that is his name. Uh -huh. All right, thank you, sir. Wait, wait, wait. How old is Tinubu? Okay. How old is Tinubu? How old is Sinibu? How old is him? Let me tell you, if Tinibu rules this country, eh, this man, this man now ruling our, this in, I, I, I don't know, this man now ruling our country, Buhari, ruling our country, now ruling, ruling this country, we are with many, me, me, me can honey here. Tinibu will be more worse than even what we are passing through now. Yeah, I know sure. Uh, you know Kwankas? I know both of them. I know both of them. No, I think Tinubu. Who do you think say uh, is the best presidential candidate? And to my own uh, looking at the government we are saying today, P2B is the right man to go there for us. So what do you think of Tinubu at an article? No, their own side has been, uh, let me say, for their own side, they are due to their own side. But right now, present youth now, we are looking for vibrant man that will take us to the level we need to be. Who is that man? Peter Obi. So make I ask you now. You know, say do you, you 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 say you know Kwankwaso. Yeah. Uh -huh. So some people say in the north now, in the south now, do you think say Kwankwaso will win for this south south and this south east? It's possible. It's possible. Depends. Depends on the people that have the PVC for him and people that have for each other party. He, it's possible for him to win, depends. So if I ask you now, who do you think will win the South South and the South East? Peter Obi or Kwankwa? To my own side, is Peter Obi that is going to win the South South, South East, and half part of the North Hamans. You, you get your PVC? Yes. So, who are you voting for? I'm voting for Peter Obi.